Welcome to Sandestin on the beaches of South Walton in Northwest Florida. Sandestin is the home of the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic, an annual tournament whose goal is to raise money for a worthy cause. This year, the tournament is benefiting the Veterans Lodge, an unprecedented multi-service facility to help our veterans in the Funiac Springs, Florida. We'll hear more about this charity later in the program. Let's meet up with our on-location reporter, Daphne Lewis. Good morning and welcome to the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic. We are in our 22nd year here of this amazing group of people who get together to raise funds for our veterans. Behind me, we have the golfers getting ready for this morning. To my right, we have registration with the fish. Back here beside me, we have approximately 200 golf carts. We have 50 celebrities, four member teams of this amazing event. Behind me over here, we had a fantastic breakfast from the donut hole. We have a little bit of weather, but it doesn't seem to be bothering the golfers and their spirits. And we expect a fantastic day. Oh, there's no doubt about it, Daphne. Thank you very much. Look forward to hearing from you throughout the tournament. It's a championship golf course, absolutely beautiful. And we go to the first hole, it's a par four. And Jim McMahon will fire a cannon. You can use the air cannon for a donation if you'd like, and that way you know your ball's going down there away. And Jim's decided, I think he's gonna take that cannon shot. And Jim, by the way, playing with Prime Inc. They are our presenting sponsor for this tournament and a major sponsor for the Veterans Lodge. Now, let's go to hole number nine. Here's a former major leaguer, Jose Lean. He was a gold glover in 1992. Trying to play the Mickelson shot off the straw. Uh, nope, that's gonna find the hazard. But he's got some help. Sue Bilodeau, whose husband Joe is the director of alumni promotions and licensing for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pedro Martinez on this team. Barb Rushell, Rita Scott. Nice that shot's going to easily clear the hazard and run all the way through, but that's a manageable oh, wow. effort from there. That's a good shot. Pretty tricky with that water hanging around. Let's get back to the green here, number one. Here is Jim McMahon. And by the way, this is how Jim rolls on a golf course. He didn't leave his shoes in his other bag. He plays barefoot. Yeah. Oh, I thought he had it. Slipped by left edge. So, see if his teammates can pick him up a little bit. Or Jim McMahon, Super Bowl champion. Who can forget that 85 Bears team? See if Gary McPhee can handle this. Gary is with Prime Inc. There you go, Gary. Nicely done. That is how you scramble. Now let's get back to number nine. And this would be a birdie on the par five. You know, might be a little bit ambitious. And you can see the breeze kicking in here. Take a look at his trousers. Downhill. Boy, that better hit something. Oh, it did! <laughs> There's your birdie! Unbelievable! Jose Lean nails a very difficult shot. We are here with second baseman and former pirate, Jose Lind. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing pretty good, thank you. <laughs> you are playing with the lovely ladies and Pedro today, is that correct? Correct, the lady, <laughs> ladies man and um, those guys doing a terrific job. We're having a great time. Is this your first year? My first year. That's fantastic. And so what brings you to our event this year? Well, um, Charlie invited me. This is um, like a fifth time Charlie been inviting me, but uh, I decided to come back this year. You know, to help those guys, you know, they give the, the ultimate sacrifice for us and everything we can do for for those guys, you know, I we appreciate it. Yeah, the Veterans Lodge is going to provide 450 homes, temporary housing, rehabilitation, and we appreciate you being here and all of you supporting us this year. Thank you. Hey, um, for those guys, you know, like I said before, they, they made the, the ultimate sacrifice for us, you know. And this is a little thing we can do for them because they deserve more. Yeah. Thank you for being here and a nice shot. Thank you. Hey, when you're good, you're good. Patrick Warburton. You know him from Seinfeld or on Family Guy. 
Give that man a cannon. Let him fire a tee shot. Win. Dead, that stayed dead straight. That stayed dead straight. I didn't put any draw on that. <laughs> we'll be back with more of the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic right after this. Welcome back to the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic. Brought to you by Acme Oyster House. Buffalo Rock and by Copy Systems Business Center. Well, the weather's starting to break a little bit. We head to the Raven course, second hole, 346-yard par four. And former Oakland A's and other teams, but he was really good with the A's, Billy Taylor, a relief pitcher, trying to find the fairway. You do not want to go left, and Billy looks pretty happy with that tee shot. Billy played with the Rays, Pittsburgh, and the Mets as well in the late 90s. Remember Rick Cerrone? Well, he is a big friend of this event. And he's got a tricky, that looks like Rick's got a wedge, former catcher. I think most folks remember him, but the Yankees. So we can flip this on and get it over that hazard. Can't go left here. Oh, baby, that's about 10, 12 feet for this team on Baytown, the par five. Now, let's go back to Raven, and this is for Birdie with Taylor. Oh, yeah, He's going to run out of gas right past the hole. You know what? That went longer than I thought it was going to. That's a good putt from Taylor. I guess when you have a ridge like that, it's just hard to... There's a ridge there, and I think he thought that ridge was going to help him, and it did not. So from Team Rum Runners, by the way, that's a wonderful place. Dueling Piano Bar and a restaurant at Baytown Wharf in Sandestin. And this is coming in hot. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Dale Martin, Pete Wood, enough? Jim Harris, yeah. and Billy Birch joining Billy Taylor. And that oh, is uh, going to be a tough par for them to take. Now let's get back to Baytown here. This is at par five. Okay. Ninth hole. This is for what is this He's playing with Buffalo a Rock team. Edge, maybe? Buffalo Rock team, they're rock stars because they're providing all of the beverages for our tournament. It's Ronnie Harris, Adam Gig, Ben Benefield, and Rick Aldridge. And look, get oh, oh, another man. putt too hot to handle. A little bit too hard. Well, let's go to the hole and get a comment from Rick with that. <laughs> We're here with Major League Baseball <laughs> catcher Rick Cerrone, who always makes me laugh. Yeah. How, how many years have you been coming to this event, uh, Rick? You know what? I think when I was two, I started. But uh, I've been coming almost every year. You have been supporting this for yeah. a quite a long time. I love it. It gets you out of the cold of New Jersey. Come down here, play a little golf, and have some fun. And Charlie's a great guy. And, Raise a lot of money for the charities. Yeah, this year they're raising money for a new charity, the Veterans Lodge Center for Healing. You know, the celebrities give up their time, and uh, you know we don't get paid, and we we love. I love doing this. I'm Mr. Charity in New Jersey. Yeah, I've taken over for Joe Piscopo. <laughs> well, we appreciate you being here at all times, and your team. Who are you playing with today? Oh, my guys are great. They're tremendous. <laughs> they they provide all the beverages for the <laughs> for everybody. Woo! That's right. Oh, wait, 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 oh, there we go. Oh, I don't have the shirt on. Buffalo. Yeah. Rock. rock and it rocks yes it does yeah, playing with ronnie legit. harris adam giggs ben benefield and rick aldridge now back to the raven a lefty jj cannon oh, that looks pretty sharp jj 1974 first round pick of the houston astros and still in great shape and obviously everybody's happy with that drive playing with mccaskill's team they started on the 15th hole they are two under now we go to Baytown. Howard Weissenstein playing with John Ashton. And I like the strategy here from this team. Southern Glazers Wine and Spirits, also a beverage provider for the tournament. Here's John Ashton, celebrity for this group. If you love Beverly Hills Cop 1 and 2 and Midnight Run, as I did, here's one of the reasons why. Playing it open championship style, and that is a fabulous oh, shot by John, but it's not going to be enough. Daphne joins him greenside. I am here with stage and film actor John Ashton. How are you guys doing today? Uh, we're, we're doing okay. You know, I mean, we're not, like, you know, tearing it up, but we're not doing awful either. You know, we're just kind of in the middle of the road. <laughs> well, that's awesome, and we appreciate you being here. Uh, 
this year's charity is actually uh, the Veterans Lodge. That's great. That's great. Well, I come from a military family, so I support the military, and I used to go to Camp Lejeune for a tournament there, and mm -hmm. and this is a great, great cause, and uh, there's just too many veterans that are being ignored. And uh, my brother was a pilot in Vietnam, and my father was a pilot in the Second World War, and and uh, I come from a long military family, and I support the military wholeheartedly. So it's 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 good to be here, and I hope we can make a lot of money and and make the lodge a, a 20-story building. John's a key guy in some big movies. Now we go back to a team that wanted to get to three under par. Instead's going to have to leave this hole at minus two. They'll have JJ Cannon clean up. Some aggressive putts for birdie, but. Not going to happen this time. Yeah, Playing with McCaskill's time, and company, a you know, we, jeweler you know, in Dustin with missing. David McCaskill, Don Edwards, Don Queen, and Chris Crutchfield. They post a four on this short par four yeah, second hole. Good shot, JJ. Good putt. All right, you told me down there you were going to go make this birdie. How'd you end up doing? Uh, in our mind? Yeah. <laughs> we can birdie all the way. We parted. But we parted. We, we have not lost anything. We have not lost any skin nope. today. No, we have not. We're, uh, we're, we're two under forward. right now. We're two two under, under with some to go. So we're, we're, we're on upswing. <laughs> we'll be back with more of day one of the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic. Welcome back to more of day one of the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic brought to you by Out of Here, Fishing Charter, Mitsubishi Electric, Uninterruptible Power Supply, by Hilton Sandestin Beach Golf Resort and Spa. And yep, that man in the middle there, what a football player Ed Too Tall Jones was. Did some boxing too in his career, a little photo op. It was turning into a really beautiful day. We go to the Raven, this is a tough hole. And Greg Clausen is putting, but the man giving him the advice, right there, Larry Ziegler. PGA Tour player, Champions Tour player. So let's see if Larry's teaching or Greg's learning it pays off. I think it did. Fine. <laughs> Put that down. About time he did something. Yeah, 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 better better now. Thank you. My mother only had to carry me nine months. There's a birdie for <laughs> Team TSP printing. And that's, they were rolling on, they were eight under. And they started on the whole 14. And now Jim McMahon's team playing really well. Playing with Prime Inc., a, the presenting sponsor for our event and a big sponsor for our charity, the Veterans Lodge. This for a birdie. And yep, speed was right. Aim just a little bit off. That's a makeable putt. And let's see if Gary McPhee can handle it. Russell Parker, George Conwell, Steve Wilson also on this team. Bang. They are yeah, 11 yeah, under par. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Put that man on television. Put him on TV. I know. Hey, that's all it took. Not, not, not until we leave town. That's going to be one of the best next. scores so far. Right. Let's check in with all Daphne right. and Jim McMahon. We are here <laughs> with two-time Super Bowl champion Jim McMahon and the guys from Prime Inc. Yay. Hey. Fabulous players here. How are you guys doing today? We're doing awesome, man. we got a great group of guys and uh, playing good golf but yeah. better joke telling. <laughs> you have been here several years supporting this event. I've been here a lot, yes. I, I enjoy the area. I, Charlie Hage is a great guy, and I, whatever he's involved in, I like to show up. And this year, um, the new charity is the Veterans Lodge Center for Healing, um, which is, you guys can tell me a lot about it. You're heavily involved with the project, correct? Yes, we are, and, and I'm, right I'm, I'm, we're having a great time, and everything's going great. Yeah, yeah and breaking breaking ground on November fifteenth. Right. Yeah. Our, our owner Robert Lowe, he was uh, he was a Marine, and so uh, he a lot of his charity work is with veterans, and really, you know, he appreciates the training that he got through the military and the sacrifice that those men make. So, we're very proud to be part of this uh, charity. Thank you. Always great to have Jim here. I would think playing with golf with Jim would be a lot of fun. Now, Glenn Metropolitan, former NHLer with the Washington Capitals and also the Bruins organization. Playing also with a former... Oh! Just drilled it. Absolutely drilled it, I was about to say. Playing with the former Expo boy Rodriguez on Team Waterscape. And they... 
started the 18th hole and make them 12 under par. Fantastic from just off the green for Glenn. Now let's head over to the Baytown course, par 3, 14th hole, and Patrick Warburton. You probably first loved him on Seinfeld as Putty, Putty. Elaine's boyfriend, but if you know Family Guy, his work, voiceover actor, Joe Swanson. That's a pretty good looking shot here, actually. Love this guy. One of my all-time favorites. Playing with Team Killian. It was second one. It wasn't a second one. <laughs> And now Randy Cofield. Now Randy played with the Seahawks and the New York Giants. This is a tough hole. Good ball, Randy. See. Found that hit a good one? Yeah. Toughest drive. And Randy hole striped on the it. Coast well right done. Here. Okay, so Gary, you say that. That is a very ball. difficult looking hole. Now, as you can see, a great birdie opportunity here for this team Killian. Got to hit it hard enough. This will break a little right if you don't get it hard enough. No. Kind of like that. But I think a little more speed. Maybe Dale can handle this here. Give this team a birdie. There you go. Yeah. Playing with Alan Helley, Matt Pennington, and Bob Stockdale. You know what? Let's see if we can get Daphne and Patrick together for a few words. We are here with actor and philanthropist Patrick Wolburton. How are you doing today? Well, thank you. And I'm here with Team Killian right now. And uh, these guys are amazing. We have uh, the hammer in the group right there. <laughs> we have two hammers. This guy hammers it too. And uh, we have our lovely cheerleader back there, Allison. And uh, she's hit a ball or two. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, um, Killian's going to be actually working on the, the project coming up. You break ground November 15th, is that correct? That is correct. Um, for the Veterans Lodge, yeah. But there's no, you know, this is just a, an awesome cause, you know, to help out the vets, and so it's great to be here. So you thought the drive was good? Look where their second shot wound up for Randy Cofield's side. Somebody is going to have a chance here to knock in a pretty makeable birdie putt. Team out of here, the Charter Fishing Company, and that putt is in a beautifully done. What a great birdie on a very difficult hole. We will return with more the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic. Welcome back to the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic, brought to you by Regis, by Resort Quest, by Wyndham Vacation Rentals, and by Prime Inc. And let's get right back to the course. We go to the Raven, the par 4 18th. And one of the best known and best umpires of all time, Joe West. And he's going to go with a Texas wedge here off the green. So he just came this a few times before. Hit it. <laughs> just a little hot. But for Joe and his group, it's been a great day. Awesome day. Had great partners. They didn't use a single one of my tee shots. <laughs> Not one. Not one tee shot, but they were great. It was fun having them. And then thanks to them, we got some money to, to go to the charity. So it was wonderful. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. And a thank you, Joe West, and all the celebrities who came out to support this event. Now, that's all for day one. The golfers head to the Hilton Sandestin for the Friday night auction gala. Time to catch up with the other celebrities. Enjoy some great food and spirits. And catch up with old friends, too. Around the banquet hall, sports memorabilia on display for both the silent and the live auctions. But most importantly, it's time to learn about the charity they are supporting. I'd like to introduce Julie Smith. She's the founder of the organization. She's been working on this for seven years and finally getting it to where it is right now where we're gonna break ground. Uh, thank you guys so much. You know, it's kinda, uh, I was just thinking, there's so many athletes here. And you guys know how important a teammate is. And I've taken a long time to find the right team, the right teammates, and they're right here in front of me. And that is Prime Inc. Thank you guys so much. 
Um, I don't know how much you guys know about Veterans Lodge. This is something that is unprecedented in size and scope. It's truly never been done before. And everybody keeps saying, why don't you start small? I don't know how to start small. <laughs> so this is quite an accomplishment. It's a big feat that we're tackling here. This is gonna be an honoring and empowering community for our veterans, veterans only. They deserve that. They have given so much for us, for us to be able to be here and to live the lives that we live today. It's gonna to be a rehabilitation center where they can have outpatient rehabilitation. There'll be vocational training, occupational therapies, recreational therapies, and of course, physical therapies. We want this troop to truly be healed when he leaves Veterans Lodge. Right now, the demand is for 14,000 veterans that need this facility. We're gonna keep a, only a rolling number of 300. What we're gonna have is this being this honoring and empowering community just for our veterans, so they can be there with their brother. And one thing we're not gonna talk about a whole lot in public or with the soldier themselves is the suicide rate. A lot of you aren't aware, the suicide rate is 80 plus a day. And that's just unacceptable. Texas and California do not report their numbers. Everybody keeps going along with the 22 a day and that's, that's not correct. So we're gonna work on that, tr you know, try and stop that suicide rate and we can do that. And it's all through love and hope. There's nothing more powerful than hope and love. This is a faith-based community that we'll have here at Veterans Lodge. When they turn into that driveway, they're gonna know without a doubt they have arrived at somewhere very special. There's gonna be a light they'll see, and they're gonna feel the love as they turn in that driveway. The entire community is about 1,400 acres. 200 acres of it will be the heart of the property, which will be Veterans Lodge, and Veterans Crossing will wrap around that to support that. Because a big part of what we're doing here with the rehabilitation is also offering post-secondary education with job training, and placement, which is huge. We have an industrial part that will be on this property. And there's already many different companies that want to come in and hire our soldiers. Bed Bath Beyond, Williams Sonoma, Johnson & Johnson, Arm & Hammer. So many are just ready for this to be open. Guys, they outwork us civilians seven times. Seven to one, they can outwork us. That's just terrible. <laughs> but the turnover rate is greater than it is with civilian. That's what we're gonna change. I know without a doubt in my heart, this is what's needed for our veterans. I've, this whole concept was brought about through hundreds of interviews with veterans. This was not my idea. I never dreamed in a million years I would be doing this, ever. And here I am today with Veterans Lodge, just a couple of weeks away from groundbreaking. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Yeah. Yes. You guys, I talked about my teammates and how important having the right teammates is. The owner of Prime Inc. is a Marine. What a difference it is to have a Marine beside you. He's sent in a team that is beyond excellent. They've taken a lot of the weight off of my shoulders. And I can't tell you how good that feels. And they do demand excellence in everything they do. And they want the excellence that I want for this project. And that has been so hard to find that partner. I can't tell you how important that is. So then I'm able to go out and do the things that I can concentrate on, you know, bringing in the right partnerships that can help us build this. Our major, our guest of honor tonight is Prime Inc. On behalf of Robert Lowe, I uh, accept this uh, wonderful gift. Uh, the owner of our company would like to have been here, but could not. Other, other things had come up, but I want to thank everybody in this room individually for being part of this great, tremendous project. And I can't think of a better project to be involved with. And I don't know if you know this, but this project is, gonna be, is, is just the first beta test, if you will, the first project of many. There's been a lot of interest expressed from other communities to bring the same project to their community, to their veterans. And so we think that this is the beginning of a long and beautiful relationship with the veterans community. And I think we're gonna make an amazing impact. And I think, I thank every one of you in this room for being part of that. And I think, thank everybody on this platform for being part of that, Charlie and Julie especially. We have to remember what these men and women have done for us. What these people have given to us, for us, so that we can have the freedom to gather in a space like this on this evening. I praise God for that wonderful thing that it is. So thank you for this, and I, we really appreciate every one of you being here, and, and uh, thank you, dear. We'll return with a kickoff of day two of the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic. Welcome back to the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic, brought to you by Rum Runners, by Showtime Events, and by Sandestin Golf and Beach Resort. 
Well, time for day two, and what a gorgeous one here in Florida's Panhandle. Let's go to the Raven course, a waterlogged par three for the great former Pittsburgh Pirate and San Francisco Giant, Rennie Stennett, playing kick, kick Team Toth, right and Come on his ball there is dry, go. long putt there there for that ball. Right. They finish the first day at eight Thanks. under par. Good start. Still yeah. going. Good start today. Good. Hey, remember Todd Jones, this guy? All-time Detroit Tigers saves leader. What an effective relief pitcher Todd Jones was. And the lefty playing with Team Resort Quest. They used the cannon for the drive on the first right, hole. Right, that one just slides by right. there on the par four here at Baytown. They finished nine under in day one. So we'll see if Leo can handle this putt. And it looks makeable. But sometimes in these scrambles, the easiest ones are the hardest ones. Sometimes they aren't. <laughs> also playing with John Jobert, Wilson Moore, and Lino Maldonado. Let's go to Daphne. We're here with Major League Baseball player Todd Jones, who's playing with uh, Resort Quest this year. Yeah, yeah. These guys have been great. This is this is Wyndham Hotels, actually, and and uh, they've done they've done a great job, great hospitality, and. Our Resort Quest has been a sponsor for many years at Charlie's Tournament, so we're very grateful to have solid, solid companies come and help us out. Well, we appreciate you coming out here and supporting the Veterans Lodge as well. Julie Smith talked about it a little bit last night. Um, what do you think about the new charity? Well, I'm, I'm hoping we can, we can continue to raise money each year for the Veterans Home because, uh, you know, without people willing to pay those kind of sacrifices, we wouldn't be able to do anything in our in America so so we're grateful for that let's get back to the course now for birdie you saw where Stennett's tee shot went it's gonna take some time he might like this one well, I'll tell you what you're playing with a regular format you're really pleased with that par they'll tap it in during last evening's gala, two awards were presented. The first, the Volunteer of the Year Award, which went to Adam Lorsey from the Hilton Sandestin. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Celebrities, of course, everybody who donates to this great cause. We really appreciate it. It goes a long way. Thank you. Thank you. Next, the Jack Burkett Memorial Humanitarian of the Year Award. A longtime friend of the tournament, Matt Conea, wins this one. Not the Hall of Fame. Come on. <laughs> oh, I know. But my mama taught me how to cry. Yeah. Uh, this, these three people right here mean the world. Uh, if it wasn't for them, none of us would be here. They, they're the ones that make it work. Uh, I just try to show up and be a ass and, <laughs> you know. But I just want to thank you. These two are so deserving of everything they do every year. Virtually from the day the tournament ends to the day it starts the next year. All right, let's get back to the course and hook up with Ed Tutal Jones at Baytown. Short par three, 130 yards. He's playing with Team Resort Quest 2. And they started on the 18th hole. They eagled the first hole in Baytown, so they're two under for their day. They were minus 11 after day one. And oh, too tall. Yeah. Oh, man. Let it roll. That is a right. virtually kick in birdie right, from baby. Too Tall oh, Jones. Swing, what a yeah. shot. <laughs> what a player that guy was, by the way. Off to the rave. Remember John Ashton, the great actor, on another par three, just off the putting surface for birdie. Got to go. Wow. That was faster than it first looked. Once you had it, one of these going in. <laughs> now, I think uh, Ed deserves to have the first crack at this putt after that brilliant shot. Oh, yeah. Wonderful defensive lineman for the Dallas Cowboys. He was a menace to quarterbacks. Now here's Daphne with Too Tall. We are here with Ed Too Tall Jones, who's playing with the guys from Resort Quest. How are you doing today? We're doing great. How was uh, yesterday on the Raven? Yesterday, we put ourselves in a position to win. That's all we wanted to do, just put ourselves in a position to win, and uh, we were able to do that. And we're having such a good time out here. I mean, I know I am. And uh, I'm the cheerleader of the group, just watching, trying to learn something from all these good golfers I'm playing with. This year's um, charity is the Veterans Lodge. Can you tell me why you think that's a little bit important? Well, well first of all, it, it, anything you do for veterans is important. I'm from a veteran family. Uh, brothers, uncles, uh, all veterans. And, um, you know, uh, 
they do so many wonderful things for us. Anything we can do for them to help, it's, it's a good thing. You know, when, we, when you think about it, all of us who are in, in a position, in, in a good, what we consider a good position, when you think back, somebody helped us along the way. And that's all these uh, men and women need, just a little help along the way to make a difference in their lives. We'll return with more from the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic right after this. Welcome back to day two of the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic. Brought to you by Yingling, TSP Printing, and by Southern Glazers Wine and Spirits of Florida. Dave Lamont with you. Let's go to the Raven course. Two courses in play here. Raven and Baytown. This is a par three, tough one. We're taking a look at Les Lancaster, former Chicago Cub reliever. Now, this doesn't appear to have a lot to work with on the putt. Just speed and accuracy here. Nope, just slid by. Little heavy on the touch there. Playing with the Team Acme, Acme Oyster House. They finished day one at nine under par. With Tommy Sharon, Mary Schoenhoff, Eric Ferrier, and Jason Lawire. And Tommy will take a shot at this birdie. So, an excellent shot. Well, you really, when you play a scramble, you hate to have an opportunity like this about a eight footer, nine footer go by the boards. And one, two. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Celebrate, Tommy. Ring around the rosy. Big birdie there for this team. So now let's shift back over to Baytown yeah. and the par 5 ninth and the great no sudden Sam McDowell. This man, one of the hardest throwing pitchers in the history of Major League Baseball, no doubt. Playing with the Villages team. Damn good. Delicate yeah. touch. Yeah. Tell you what. <laughs> hey, come on, buddy. You're going you with us. Sam hey, McDowell money. knows how to mix his speeds. Playing with Scott Lyman, hey, Jim Turcotte, <laughs> Alan Zwiedema, <laughs> and Craig Darrington. Let's go down to Daphne, <laughs> who's standing by with Very Sudden Sam. Sam. We are on the Baytown course with Sam McDowell this morning, who is playing with the Villages and tied for first on Flight B. How y'all doing? We're doing fantastic so far. We're probably 20 strokes ahead. Well, and the weather turned out a lot nicer for us this morning, too. It did. Uh, we had to talk with the man upstairs, and he agreed the villages needed a little help. Sam, you have been coming to this tournament for years and supporting these causes. What brings you back every year? Uh, basically, Charlie Haji, uh, the individual who puts these together, but when he decided he wanted to help the veterans, I think every football player and every baseball player alive would love to come here to help out. Well, we appreciate you every year, and good luck the rest of the day. I know you guys are doing a bang-up job out there, so uh, we'll see you at the end of the day. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. All right. Let's go back to Raven, and again, that par three fourth hole. Butch Benton, former major league catcher with the Mets, the Cubs, and Cleveland, playing with Team Goldring, another one of our big sponsors here. He finished the first day at 14 under par. And... Oh, for heaven's sake, oh, somebody on, scream. Uh, yeah. Somebody do something. Drop a bottle on the green. Anything to get that. It's just going to hang there. What a terrible break. Playing Brian Illion, Dominic Olson, Andy Palmer, and Toby Reif. Well, a highlight of last night's gala event, the sports memorabilia up for auction, and there's always an exciting live auction. Some I tell you, remarkable. When it's the appropriate time, we're going to auction off that jersey that Matt Coney sent to us from the Atlanta Braves. The gray jersey, it was done for a military event. It has the Army green numbers and letters on it. 500, thank you very much, sir. Can I get six? Patrick, $600, can I get seven? You gotta be honest, uh, this Come is on, one I of the best it. live cool. auctions oh, and yes, silent auctions anywhere in the country seven. at any eight? event, particularly Can I get eight? I got seven, can I get eight? Thousand dollars, oh, he just closed you out, didn't he? I got a thousand, can I get 11? You got 1,100, can I get 12? I got 1,100, 12. I got 13. 13. Oh, almost. 13 going once. 13 going twice. I'm going to drop the hammer. So, Patrick Warburton. Petty. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. All right, let's get back to the course. Randy Grimes. Former Tampa Bay Buccaneers center and the gentleman he was just speaking to there is our 
World right. War II veteran, Shape Lieutenant Colonel up. Sam Lombardo, who is our unofficial celebrity, but maybe he is just as official as Randy. Playing with Burke, Sherry Gwaltney, and Cecil White. You got it. Oh, man, a little heavy on the touch. Hunched over style there. Let's see if Lieutenant Colonel Lombardo can handle this putt. I bet he can. Natalie attired there with the suspenders. Okay, they will go with the pendulum this time. Pendulum? All right. Again, doesn't look like a lot of break. Get there, get there. Oh, ah, man. A little left. Try Sherry here for birdie. I would say, Sherry, at this point, right edge is the place to aim. First two putts slid left. That's what she you did. You got it. Excellent Bang. read there, Sherry. Great putt and a nice birdie. For this team on that tricky part. Right, got it. You got it. Way to go, Birdie. Let's get down to Daphne. Hi, Kel. I got it. We are here with Tampa Bay Buccaneer Randy Grimes and his team. How are you guys doing today? We're doing great. The great. team's doing great. I'm not doing so great, but the team is doing it's really good well. Morale factor. Yeah. Speaking of the team, you have another celebrity with you, World War II veteran and Battle of the Bulge, um, one of my favorite human beings, Mr. Sam Lombardo. I hear you have a very significant birthday coming up. Uh, yes, it'll be the 100, on 12 July, I'll be 100 years old. Amazing. It is amazing. Wow. And, and that's why we're here. We're here to honor guys and so say I, thank you to guys like this. So I count my blessings every day. I try to do whatever's right, and I think golf has added a few years to my life. Yeah. Um, the Veterans Lodge is the charity this year, and we appreciate you coming out, all of you guys supporting it. Um, tell me a little bit why you think that is so important for us this day and age. Well, there are our nation's heroes, and we need to take care of these guys, and we need as many services as we can provide them out there. And, uh, you know, we can't thank them enough for their service. We'll return with more from the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic right after this. Welcome back to the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic. Brought to you by Resort Quest by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Buffalo Rock by Hilton Sandestin Golf Resort and Spa. I'm Mike Kerrigan. I'm the Director of Marketing for the Walton County Tourist Development Council. We are proud to be the title sponsor of the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic. It's an event we've been proud to be a part of for several years. It's a wonderful opportunity to bring golfers from all around the country to South Walton to play at the beautiful Sandesson Golf and Beach Resort, enjoy all that our community has to offer from the beautiful beaches on the Gulf of Mexico to fine dining, these championship golf courses here, and it all benefits a great cause. So it's something that we're proud to be a part of for the last several years, and we look forward to it every year and got another great tournament again here in 2018. All right, let's get back to the course. Andy McGaffigan on the par four sixth hole playing with Team Burnt Pine. That's part of Sandestin. Beautiful driving hole right there. That really sets up nicely for the eye. Yeah, I'll take that one. Four under for the day, this group. And now Rick Rushell. Outstanding major league pitcher. Long and distinguished career on a par 317th at Baytown. Playing with Team U.S. Foods, another one of our big tournament sponsors. Long one here. Coming in hot. Cut. And Cut. a little bit wide right. <laughs> Do over. All right. Cut. Splice it in. <laughs> Let's throw it to Daphne, who's standing by with Rick. We are here with Major League Baseball pitcher Rick Rochelle. What keeps bringing you back to this event? The... The uh, causes that, and Charlie Hage, who uh, puts it together, he's a really good friend and he's really been good to all of us. And I just love uh, the projects that he picks up and we're doing. And this one is might be the best yet. And I told Charlie, I said, when they get ready to have their grand opening, I would love to get an invite. So meet some of the guys and everybody that's involved. All right, let's go back to that par four six hole in the Andy McGaffigan team with Jamie Hall, Maria McKenna, Carla Hoyle, and Pam Offholder. And it's a big one here. Got the towel over there, just in case.
Kept okay, the head still. Whoa. Oh, man, that is a shame. <laughs> that a birdie opportunity there. So Marie McKenna will try here, and she is checking that line out very carefully. I love the soccer ball, golf ball. Very deliberate here for Marie. That's good speed. Oh, man, that is unfortunate. They're going to have to go ahead and tap in for a par. Well, thanks for the effort. Daphne is standing by with Andy. You were at the gala last evening and learned a little bit more about the um, charity this year. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how you feel about the Veterans Lodge? Well, obviously, it's a new organization, so I don't know a, a lot about it other than what I heard last night and what I've been able to read. But obviously, our veterans are in need. And anything that we can do as a, as a community, both as a professional community, former Major League Baseball, or as a community at large, if we, whatever we can do to help our veterans recover and uh, mainstream back into lifestyle, that's what we're here for. You know, we, we appreciate so much what they've done, the sacrifice that they and their families have given towards us. So we have a, a, a large debt of gratitude owed to them. And so anything that I can do here in a tournament like this, I'd love to do it. What a beautiful look that is, huh? Let's head to the Raven. Par 5, third hole. Juan Bonilla. Got a lot of outstanding former ball players who come to this event every year. Playing with Team Walmart. They were 13 under at the end of the first day. They are really rolling. But this is a long par 5. <laughs> little bailout right. If you need it, it looks like they're going to be okay here. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Oh. <laughs> 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 we'll switch over. Tell the camera to move back. Team out of here and Jerry Campbell putting for birdie. They were the leaders at the end of the first day, and there's just a basically a tap in birdie for out of here. Jerry Campbell. Is the owner Woo! of the Out of Here Charter oh, Boat? Me play. <laughs> so why not? I get to play every now and then. <laughs> huh? I get to make the short putt. Way to represent. Yeah. yeah. All right. Have a great rest of the day. The okay. The Thank you. Now let's move ahead and Juan Bonilla's team putting for birdie. So they have done an excellent job, giving themselves a chance, and you can see how that putt tailed off to the right at the hole. And he gave that a pretty good stroke too. It looked like a really good putt. But wait. I don't know about that one. I hope you put that down as a par on the card. <laughs> we do want to thank everybody for all of their support. And remind you that we'll wrap up the final day of the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic. You're watching the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic. Brought to you by Hertz. By Prime Inc. And by Southern Blazers Wine and Spirits of Florida. Well, we're getting down near the end here. Let's join Greg Litton's team, another one of our former ball players. Remember him with San Francisco? Team Showtime events and rum runners at Baytown, par five for a four. I did. You see it get away to the right a little bit. Playing with Brian LaMonica, Kyle Boyer, Pete Blades, and Michael Skozafave. That's, that's one of the rare bands. And I also hear you beat Jim McMahon in Texas Hold'em on Thursday night. <laughs> yes, I did. That's two of the three years I've beat Jim. He's <laughs> he's kind of a rookie. I, you know, he's an old guy. He plays barefoot. I mean, what do you expect? I know. Well, we appreciate you coming back year after year, and we appreciate the, the guys from Showtime and Run Runners um, supporting us. Absolutely. Run Runners is the greatest place over here. We, we have a lot of team parties over there and have a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, we hope you have a rest a great rest of your day and we'll see you at the barbecue we will thank you guys well, let's get back to the beautiful raven course on the tee and patrick warburton is waiting for jim mcmahon's group to finish so he wants to uh, stay we gotta loose. get back to this boring game of golf so while mcmahon plays golf the celebrity plays football i think i get that getting all this on drone all right here we go here's patrick <laughs> they had a good day one two finishing at 14 under par this is their final hole today of the tournament. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Had a little hesitation in the swing, oh. but no hesitation with the result. More better. You mean three times, right? <laughs> More better, huh? 
Now, James Jones, and he had a great NFL career, the former Florida Gator running back at Baytown, playing with Team American Airlines, and he's trying to line up. Now, we've seen how this has gone for other golfers on this green. They finished the first day at 12 under. Yes, sir. I was as smooth as some of his runs, playing with James McGregor, Ronald Hill, Tony Childress, and David Hawksworth. Give that team a four on the card. <laughs> he followed the ball. I know. That's all we needed. Put you in front of the TV. There you go. That's it. That's all we had to do. Put you in front of the TV. Turn on the camera. Yeah. He's lights out. And Daphne is standing by with James and his group. We caught up with Seahawk and Lions wide receiver James Jones, who just had made a great putt over there. How are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. Well, I got a great read from my partner here, so from all five guys. So we're doing great today, so. Well, you started on the leaderboard on the flight B. Um, so how have you been playing today? I think we've been playing pretty well, right, guys? Pretty close. Uh, yeah, we sir. missed we're a couple. Yeah, we missed a couple putts back there, but I think we'll come in pretty strong. How many years have you been coming to this event, James? This is my fourth year in a row. Uh, Charlie's done a great job, and now we're representing, uh, donating money to uh, Veterans Lodge. So it's been great so far. All right, let's get to the birdie opportunity here for Patrick Warburton. Playing it the long way, not taking out the wedge for this shot. And that's the problem. When you putt from that distance, sometimes you can leave him short. Good job. Gosh, I'll dig it. Awesome. Well, that'll do it for this group. Strong finish for them. Yeah. Uh-uh. Stewards are hilarious. They beat each yeah. other up so bad. I thoroughly Dang. enjoyed that. Thanks, that was awesome. Gosh, yeah, that was so fun. much. It was yeah. fun. Y'all did good, but you're a good player. So let's take a look at our leaderboard. And Randy Cofield wins the first flight. Five shots over Jim McMahon, Patrick Warburton teams. Bob Stinson, Mike Riley in there. Larry Ziegler and his group winning the second flight by a couple of shots over Mackie Sasser, Joe West, and Tim Spoonie Parker's team doing very well in the third flight as well, along with Billy Taylor. Well, you got to have a little food after all of this, right? This is the big tent, a little barbecue provided by 98 Barbecue. And just chill out after a couple of fantastic days in beautiful South Walton, Florida. And Daphne Lewis is on hand, of course, to interview the tournament chairman. It is the end of two beautiful days here at the South Walton Celebrity Golf Classic. Um, can we get some closing words from you guys? Fantastic. The weather was great. We had a few less participants this year because of Panama City area and actually east of there. So we're very sad for them, but grateful for the money we raised for a great cause, Veterans Lodge. Mac and I worked on this thing labored over it trying to figure out how we're going to make this thing work this year with the people we lost but it all came together at the end well we appreciate you guys so much we appreciate our celebrities and our sponsors and we hope to see you all next year daphne thank you very much thank you mac and of course charlie and rj as well you know what look forward to doing it again next year i'm dave lamont thank you for watching the south walton celebrity golf